A brand new Crown Tundra trailer just dropped from the Nintendo South Africa distributor? What? Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today, and today we are jumping into a brand new trailer for the Crown Tundra that may give us some insight as to when it is going to be released. Currently, the Crown Tundra is noted as a placeholder date for November 30th, but it is very likely that it comes out before that. And while Nintendo has been very silent lately about the Crown Tundra, this trailer just randomly dropped from a channel that has 477 subscribers called the Nintendo South Africa Distributor. Was it intentional? I don't know. Does it mean that there could be another trailer soon? I don't know that either, but we are going to watch the trailer and then we're actually going to recap some of the information that is pretty much officially confirmed that is leaked. So this video has a lot of leaks in it and these are real leaks. These are not rumors. These are real leaks. So I'm going to talk about the Pokedex, some of the items that have leaked and things like that. So if you don't want spoilers for Crown Tundra, you probably don't want to watch this video, but if you want to watch it, I mean, this is stuff we've covered before, but this is a recap for people who are new to the channel or maybe haven't been following it. A lot of awesome information in this video. So be sure to like the video and the one thing is you guys got to subscribe to the channel. I post Pokemon videos every single day. If you subscribe, you can check out our awesome content. And if you don't like me later, you can always unsubscribe later. So make sure you guys subscribe, get those notifications turned on. And like I said, hit that like button. But let's jump into the trailer and then we're going to talk about all the leaks, baby. All right, let's play this trailer. Got that Nintendo Switch logo. Open it up with Calyrex right on the screen. Running past those Frost Moth. Got that Lapras, Corvus Squire, of course. There is uh, Peony, who we still don't know what his relation to Rose is. These different uh, kind of temples for the Reggies are going to be super duper cool. Remains to be seen whether Reggie, Eliki, and uh, Draco are going to be version exclusives. Uh, we see some other cool Pokemon. Uh, you see that little graveyard. Very nice. Those Frost Moths again. And then it just says Pokemon Sword and Shield Expansion Pass out now. And then Autumn 2020 on that last screen, which is very interesting. And it says now available on the eShop to get the Expansion Pass. But this trailer just kind of dropped out of nowhere with not really a ton of insight or information as to what's going on. So there's a lot of question marks regarding the Crown Tundra still. Are we going to get it sooner than November? It is very possible that it could come out in October, but I'm still thinking at some point in November. So some footage we've already seen, but a new trailer nevertheless from Pokemon and the Crown Tundra. And of course, some crazy stuff here from the Nintendo South African distributor which is again very interesting but let's talk about some other things here right this is the pokedex leak now this is basically confirmed through data mining and scrubbing the files matt yukana we're going to feature a lot in this video um, but this list includes the nidoran family zubat jinx electabuzz magmar the different fossils right omanai kabuto aerodactyl the legendary birds of course dragonite makes its return which i think is going to be a massive threat in vgc with this multi-scale ability and being able to go for max air streams both physical and special fly and hurricane very good um obviously we see some baby pokemon the legendary dogs lugia ho-oh we see septile torchic the starters right mudkip's coming back i'm sure a lot of people are excited about that agron altaria right you got things like the other fossils a lot of fossils of course Absol, which we've seen, Bagon, Salamence, Metagross, the Regis, Laddies. It makes sense, right? A lot of these legendaries, Kyogre Ground on Rayquaza. You see Garchomp making its return. Uh, the Lake Trio, Uxi, Azelf, Mesprit, Dialga Palkia, Heatran, Regigigas, of course. Uh, then you see Victini sneaking in there. V-Create is in the game. Adino, Tortuga, more fossils again. Uh, Cryogonal, which we saw in the trailer. You even get Genesect on here, which you can actually hopefully transfer for Pokemon Go at some point, which would be nice if they finally add that connectivity. More fossils, Xerneas, Eveltal, Zygarde, Deonsi, of course, Volcanion, the Tapu's making their return, which is going to be crazy, and then the Ultra Beasts, of course, lots of Ultra Beasts. And when we look at Matt Yukana's Twitter, we see here, right, there's a ton of different things that are basically located in this game, and we'll kind of go backwards, but... We know that there's going to be an Armorite or equivalent. We know that there's going to be an item to evolve Galarian Slowking. We know that there's a way to fuse Calyrex. We don't know what, but we know that there's placeholder spots to fuse Calyrex and that there is indeed going to be that hidden ability capsule, which was leaked. Item 1606 for DLC 2 is going to be the hidden ability capsule, which allows you to trade change from ability 1 slash 2 to hidden ability, which is going to be pretty nuts. You've also got things like the Galarian Star Tournament, which is hopefully going to be a cool feature, but it may be kind of boring. Uh, it shows all the different trainers that are going to be there. Gym Challenger Normal, Bug, Flying, Water, Rock, etc. Marnie, Piers, Raihan, Melanie, Gordy. All those characters are going to be located in the Galarian Star Tournament. 
So lots of awesome things going on there. We see the map, dude, right? Like we have the map and you can see that there's different locations that you can fly to. And this, I think, illustrates the most that the Crown Tundra is going to be significantly bigger than the Isle of Armor. This map is much, much bigger with way more fly points. If I think about the Isle of Armor just off the top of my head, I think there's one, two, three, four, maybe five fly points. This map has significantly more fly points. And obviously, we've got Bird Tree, the Reggies having their locations, and a bunch of other things. So a lot of people are expecting that the Isle of Armor is going to be much smaller than what the Crown Tundra ends up being, right? The Crown Tundra is looking to be much more robust. And the other thing about it is we believe there to be four chapters of story. There's a chapter for the Ultra Beast. There's a chapter for the birds. There's a couple different things going on there. And it seems as though they're all going to tie in different ways. We also know with not, not only the Galarian Star Tournament, but we know there's going to be a new raid feature. Not really sure how to feel about that just yet. But that's another feature there. Again, a lot of fly locations. A lot of new areas in the, uh, in the game in general. And I think that that just shows how robust the Kron Tundra map is going to be. Which is definitely a positive thing, right? Uh, we do know that Pokemon following you are going to come back. The flag in the game coding that indicates Pokemon following you that was found in the Isle of Armor is also in the Crown Tundra. So you'll be able to, be able to have that same feature, which is something that I think a lot of people really like, is having Pokemon follow you. Uh, so big, big uh, kind of plus there. And then the other thing is, Max Ray Battles are going to have more characters join us. In the Isle of Armor, we know that Clara and Avery can join you. So now we can assume Peony and then Peony's daughter, who we still don't really know her relation here is going to be able to join you as well so a lot of different characters that are going to be in the uh, in the crown tundra rather a lot of different updates i mean obviously that pokedex is nuts getting to see a lot of those pokemon come back i do ask you guys the question what pokemon are you most excited to return to the crown tundra obviously they left a lot of pokemon out of the decks but they are going to get pretty much the full decks when all is said and done here right I think it's really cool that some of the topus are coming back. The ultra, I mean, the, the competitive metagame is going to be just, just stupid. But uh, I love Crobat. I think that's a sick Pokemon that's going to be returning. I'm really excited to see mons like Metagross, Salamence, and Dragonite in a Dynamax metagame, right? A Pokemon like Metagross, which is so good with weakness policy, being utilized under the Dynamax mechanic is going to be just ridiculous. The fact that it can use Max Steel Spike and Max Quake to boost its defenses. Uh, you got things like Dragonite, like I said, which is multi-scale. You can proc your own weakness policy and use max airstream to boost your speed and deal massive damage with that incredible attack stat. And the same goes for Salamence, right? Another Pokemon that you could activate weakness policies through different moves. And when it's Dynamax, it can take those hits pretty well, especially when it's using things like Intimidate or even Moxie to boost its stats even further. So there's a lot of competitive potential here. I'll tell you what, man, the metagame is going to be absolutely nuts. I think Garchomp is probably going to be one of the mons. I think Garchomp's obviously going to be good, but... I don't know if Garchomp can uh, compete with some of these other dragons and these other kind of pseudo legendaries because their ability to boost their own speed and just really handle the um, kind of weakness policy very well. Weakness policy in Dynamax metagame is just insanely strong. Uh, but very, very interesting stuff, right? And, and I think the hype train for the Crown Tundra is certainly on its way, and I'm on board for it, man. Let's get it. So obviously, the Crown Tundra, we don't really know exactly when it's coming out, right? We know it's coming out sometime, probably October, November. This crazy trailer that just dropped from the Nintendo South Africa distributor kind of caught us all off guard and may lead to something bigger any day now any minute now like there could actually be something that drops later today or tomorrow so keep an eye on the channel make sure you guys are subscribed get those notifications turned on if you hate me later you can always unsubscribe i do post pokemon videos every single day so hope you guys have been enjoying that and uh, let me know what pokemon you're most excited to return for the crown tundra i'm excited it seems like there's going to be way more gameplay in the crown tundra than there was in the isle of armor so i'm pumped for that i hope you guys enjoyed this recap style video talking about all the things that have leaked for the crown tundra so far as well as the new information about this trailer that just dropped and that's gonna be that for me guys be sure to like the video subscribe if you guys are new and i will see you guys on the next one if you enjoyed this video i'm sure you're gonna love this video however youtube thinks that you're gonna like this video so check out one of the two videos and have yourself an awesome day peace